This is my old family van, and this is my dad. All right. He calls the van Old Nelly. It has 227,000 miles on the odometer, a dash lit up like a Christmas tree, and its share of quirks. Feel bad. It just goes off sometimes, or what? Uh. But it still runs. So today, we're gonna go camping in it together. Well, last bit of maintenance. I gotta put it up on the things I gotta get under. I have to get under here to put uh, spray to WD-40. For what? E e e e. So if you gotta, yeah. it loosens up. Oh. 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 Where is it? Oh. I quickly realized this is going to be interesting. Not only is the van a relic, it was cold. I'm already cold, guys. I'm already cold. But this trip wasn't about the camping. It was about getting to know my dad better. Growing up, we didn't always get along. Even though he was present and led my Cub Scout group, we didn't see eye to eye on a lot. Now, as we're both getting older, I realize just how much we have in common. I want to learn a little bit more about him, and in turn, maybe I'll learn a little bit more about myself too. Well, it's definitely colder here than it is even back home. This is our site for the night. Let's give a little tour. Check her out. We got my dad's bag, we got my bag. So we got old Nelly, got a little fire pit. It says that you can make a fire the only time is March 1st through May 25th that you can. Of course, we have a little picnic table. We're right at the trailhead too, so obviously my dad loves hiking, so we might go for a little hike. You can call us what you want, but uh, one thing my dad and I have in common is we are definitely not cold weather people. So we changed into some warmer clothes. He just got done putting his thermal layers on too. So we're both uh, ready to go. And then we hit the trail. The trail right next to our campsite was more like an access road rather than an actual hiking trail. But nonetheless, it felt great to get our bodies moving and kind of warm up a little bit. Sun came out. Hey, hey nice. It is, yes. <laughs> and it gave me a great opportunity to brainstorm some questions that I want to ask my dad later this night. I know hiking is a shared love for both of us and it felt really good to kind of get out and do that with my dad. It's not every day I get to do that anymore, especially now that I live across the country. With the sun quickly fading and the temperatures dropping down into the mid 20s, my dad started making some hot food while I put on another layer. Got some beef stew on the menu for you. <laughs> and a couple noodles for me. And thank God for hot food and hot cocoa because we could not get the fire started for the life of us. It never was really a blazing fire, it just kind of smoldered. I guess that's what you get for using wet wood from the forest floor. So when that wasn't working out for us, we cozied up and got ourselves ready for bed. It was finally time to really get to know my dad. All right. Cozied up for now. <laughs> um, I had some questions for my dad here. You know, I want to get to know you better. And well, I have some questions too. Oh, do you? <laughs> About yourself? <laughs> no, go ahead. First of all, obviously, we're outside, so why do you love the outdoors so much? I just don't like being cooped up, it's, it's, and it's beautiful to be outside, to fresh air, the exercise, uh, experience different things in nature, seeing and wildlife and uh, plants and flaunting flora. Um, yeah, there's just so much cool stuff out there. And, yeah. uh, you can't see that if you're sitting at home. You gotta be out. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't understand how certain people just don't care about the outdoors. It's so beautiful. Like, uh, how do you just not care? <laughs> oh, and of course, the sun rises, yeah. the sunsets, and the people you're with, the camaraderie, it, it helps you. It's just, it's, it's, um, it's medicinal. What would you say makes you the happiest 
I don't know. I always, I always seem to get excited when I know I'm going to go on a hike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're, you know, getting a little older. You're like almost 70 now. Do you have any regrets of things that you didn't do through hey, your life? Wait, now, you're running really? ahead here. No, I'm not. I'll be 69 in May, so I, I have about almost a year and a half to go. <laughs> it's almost 70. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I can still do just about all of it. That's still, good. Yeah. I'm thankful that, uh, you know, physically uh, I feel feel good. Body parts do try to tend to hurt a little bit, but, you know, I think they would even if you're younger. What do you think you're the most proud of in your life? Mm. I think my children. Oh. What what they've accomplished. That's nice. What they're doing and, and the goals that they're setting for themselves and what they envision and what they dream of doing. And I just really want to see them succeed in everything they do. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Love you, Matt. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one other question then. Um, what advice would you give to me or somebody else in their mid-20s trying to figure out where they're headed? I would say just follow your passion, follow your dream. I know you've got the tenacity to continue on and no matter what comes your way, you're gonna find a way, th you're gonna find the road through you're gonna be successful in, in whatever you do. If you're happy with what you're doing and you feel fulfilled with what you're doing, that means a lot too. And if you're happy with the people, you, the person you're with or the people you're with, that's great. If you can help somebody else, and make somebody else's life better or steer somebody in the right direction. The world needs people who are gonna influence them for the good. Because we've got too much of the other going on in the world. And, uh, yeah. You need positive people. Well, that was good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Again, I'm playing up the age thing. You're not that old, but you're getting older too. And you know, I don't know how much longer you know I'm gonna have. Uh, I appreciate you yeah. being out here with me, Matt. It really, really was nice for you to do that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> And that's that. Uh, it was a little cold. What did you think? Well, I thought it was great. First time car camping. Yeah. For me. Yeah. And well, that was a good experience. All right. We will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> hey, you gotta pee. <laughs> and the door went up and was frozen shut. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs>